Hi guys. I found a few things uh, about how drone harmony. Now if you um want to go out into the field and build your flight out there and you let's say you've never been there before you don't know what the terrain is like uh, you don't know if there's overhead wires or anything or how high the trees are or what have you and you want to build your your plan your flight plan out in the field you've got a couple of problems you're gonna bump into there um, one is the maps if you go out without Wi-Fi, you start building your flight plan, you'll find that your background is just all white. You don't have any maps at all. So the one way to get around that, I've contacted Drone Harmony and they've given me, given me these suggestions and they seem to work great. So I'm gonna record it all here for you. So if you go in if you go to a place where you can get Wi-Fi first of all at either at home or where I'm at uh, Canadian uh, Walmart at the moment so we're connected to the Walmart Wi-Fi and you call up drone harmony And this is what you'll get if you're out in the field where there is no um, Wi-Fi. You'll just get a white background like this. Okay. So where, when you do have Wi-Fi, this is what you'll get, a map. So you zoom into the area that you want to... Um, fly in the what that you want to set up your your uh, your flight in and I want to set up a flight at some place called um, frog pond now if I could just find that again right here frog pond this is where I want to fly and I'd like to park in the parking lot right there and fly over this little area right here that I'm tapping around I'd like to fly over there now I don't know anything about the terrain I don't know anything at all about that so I can't build my flight plan here right now I'd like to go out there and view it but without Wi-Fi all I'm gonna get is like I said the white background so if you turn the Wi-Fi off now and zoom out as far as you possibly can well let's just see here this is what I get that's how big of an area that you will cache and I'm in Halifax near Dartmouth there I'm in Halifax and I'm at a Walmart right at the moment in Halifax and like I said I want to come down to Frog Pond and do my flight there so now that we've got that in memory or in, in cache we can turn drone harmony off we can drive out to this location and we can pull up drone harmony and set up our flight plan this is a beautiful little area here man so anyways let's get out of drone harmony drive out to the field park at the parking lot there there's a whole bunch of little ones right down there Ten of them, and the mother. <laughs> Looks like them older ones are over there. And then we'll call up Drone Harmony.
and we'll zoom down to the area frog pond that I want to build the flight plan right around this area as a matter of fact I want to come out to this little lookout spot right here where I'm tapping and fly around this little area of the pond so we'll go with the plus sign brings up the choices I'll pick manual the first one the waypoints and I can see that the trees are certain height but I'm gonna fly at 40 meters up okay so we'll drag these into position the end point out of the way the beginning point right at where I want to lift off from and uh, the first waypoint will make it there and we'll keep adding waypoints around the area that I want to fly and I think in my other tutorials I showed you how to select how to get waypoints and how to select them <clears throat> so we'll do that here now and roughly like so so now i want to angle the drone in the direction i want it to point each one individually okay i think i've got the drones pointed in the direction I want them to um, face once they're flying <clears throat> and we'll do the gimbal on all of them except for the beginning and end so we'll grab the lasso 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 we'll lasso all the points that I want to affect we'll go over to the pencil we'll go gimbal pitch and we'll make it about let's say 25 <clears throat> that's my flight plan and we'll save that as we'll call it pond there it's saved all right so now we'll just connect the drone uh, press the little bottom right hand corner triangle with the red uh, circle and connect to the drone and uh, tell it to fly and it's going to fly at 40 meters up you can see the the uh, numbers in the in the circles at the moment and it's going to come down now I've noticed while I was here right where I'm start and ending there's a power line right there, right above me. So I have to be careful that when I set my drone down, like, uh, yes, I have it set for takeoff and landing right there, but I can take off from the road and it'll go straight up and over there. It won't, it won't go to the, uh, the red, uh, triangle there it'll take off go straight up 40 meters and then over so what I'm going to do is put it so that it that on that deck there so that it's just out of range of the the wires overhead and so that when it goes up because when it's, it starts lifting up if you don't if you're not ready with the pause key uh, it's just gonna go up it doesn't know that those wires are there so and when it comes back and uh, is ready to land I just click on hover at the ending point and then I can uh, manipulate the drone myself with the joysticks uh, telling it when where and when to come down I don't have to land automatically okay so that's the flight plan let's I can see if I can get my uh, tablet to record the flight at the same time if not uh, I can record the flight using uh, the drone footage 
and I'll, I'll show you both. Okay, this is the drone footage. Um, I sped it up to 200% so that the yeah you know, the footage can go a little quicker. That's that's not uh, necessary to have it at uh, normal speed. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, call up Drone Harmony. 